Hello YouTube, Zippo Enthusiast Down Under here and today I've just got a quick little unboxing video I'm going to do. I've got two packages that have come in today from johnnyblade.com.au and uh, I have already opened these but we'll get into them anyway. So I'm just going to do an unboxing, show you what I got, open up all the, the lighters I've got inside and some of the other stuff and um, you can expect a, a closer look and a review on these lighters a little bit further down the road. So I'll start with the small one here. I'll just pull this one out of the way. I'll just take out my packing slip with my information on it. All right, so I've got three items in this package. Yeah. The first one we'll look at is the Samurai Girl design. It's a white mat. It's got a uh, pretty cool design on there. I like the blood splat and the, I guess the rising sun in the background. And um, coming from johnnyblade.com.au, uh, I have got one item from them before previously. And it's the only thing I've ordered in Australia that actually comes with the stickers on them. So, once again, safe to say, johnnyblade.com.au, they bring their stuff from uh, a retailer out of America because you can't actually buy anything from the genuine uh, Zippo distributor in the States. Only the um, genuine distributor in Australia can get stock from them, so... Anyway, I'll just quickly pull it out and I'll show you. Has got the red stickers. Not even Genuine Zippo Australia comes with these. Like, it's just not a legal requirement over here. So, the ones they package for us are a little bit different. So, that's that one. I will open it up and go through it um, in later videos. Over here, I've actually got an arc lighter insert. Now, <clears throat> I have opened this up and charged it up just to show you what sort of what it's like for the video. But I will also point out, don't expect your uh, Zippo lifetime warranty to come with this. Like it is a, not a forever lasting item like the standard inserts are. There's just some safety tips and stuff. Little breakdown of the lighter and the charging cable. And um, it does actually tell you that the warranty on this, there you go, two year limited warranty and proof of purchase is required for uh, warranty service. So that is something to keep in mind. Mind you, like if you do look after it, it should last you longer than two years anyway. Most things will outlast the warranty. It just probably an acceptable service life. Um, there's just some details about it. USB rechargeable, fits all regular Zippos, double tap push button, and the charging cord comes with it. Um, <clears throat> here is the insert itself. It's quite nice. It's actually more chrome, I would say, than the um, standard inserts and it doesn't need to have the cam down or anything like that or be in the lighter for it to work you just double tap it it's pretty cool i'm interested to give this a run but i am doing some other tests like with here's my daily carry at the moment just doing things with fuel life and seeing how brass tarnishes and stuff like that but there's the usb charge port in the bottom when you plug it in you do need to charge it up when you first get it and uh, it's got a blue light on the bottom. So that's just saying that safety because I've only pressed it once. Press it twice for it to work. It will flash um, if it's low. And while it's charging, it will stay solid blue. And as soon as it is fully charged, that light goes out. So that's how you know when it's charged. Um, I'll show you the charging cable that it comes with because I was a little bit 
like what the hell is that when I first got it, but you don't need an adapter for this. So there's the bit that goes in the bottom of the lighter, the micro USB end. And here's what plugs into your normal USB port. So when I first saw it, I was like, oh, what the hell, I need to get an adapter. But I do have a normal USB end over here. So that's what you're used to seeing. But this is simply just that inside piece. So it just plugs in like normal. So I just thought I'd cover that in case people are wondering. So there's no surprises if you're buying one of these based on this review or this unboxing. Anyway, we'll just set that aside and we'll have a look at the other one from this package. Because I have got a few to go through here. And this is the hidden skull design. So I only saw this the other day. I really liked the design and the color of it. So I was like, yep, I'll grab that. And um, at the moment, Johnny Blade has got a sale on all of their stuff on their website. So once again, <clears throat> it does come with the red stickers and the price sticker. Really nice design, nice color. Really like that one. Made in 2020. And I'll just grab this other package over here. I'll pull my um, packing slip and details out of it. And here's what I've got in this one. Quite a few. So I think these guys have got a sale running on their online store at the moment because um, they are based down in New South Wales. And right now, New South Wales is sort of going into a COVID lockdown, unfortunately. Um, just because there has been that new Delta strain, they're calling it, of COVID, which is supposed to be like spreads faster. It's more deadly, I guess. Um, my thoughts are with everyone down there in the lockdown at the moment. I hope everyone's able to get through it and get back to normal as soon as possible, but they have got sales running at the moment. I think it is to do with the lockdown. So I've actually managed to pick up some fuel canisters from them. These are a recent item that I've seen on their website. And I did get two. Uh, previously, looking for these in Australia, I've only able to been or been able to find them for quite a high price, but out of stock anyway. So I've seen them for about a hundred dollars elsewhere, and I would have purchased them, but they were out of stock anyway. So I got these for fifty-eight dollars for the pair, and uh, I will be doing a, a review on these as well. So I'll set them aside. They sent me three packets of flints for free. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I did get a few lighters, but I'm probably gonna pull all the flints out of these anyway, and I've got a, a ton of them sitting around. So we'll get into these quickly. I don't want this video to drag out too long. I already know what that one is. And if you've seen my other videos, you've probably got an idea, but we'll start over here. This one is Glow in the Dark Zippo logo. Now, I was actually pretty interested in these. Um, I don't know, I just got a thing for Glow in the Dark stuff. So this one's just plain, just got the Zippo logo up top. Also made in 20, still got the sticker. I really like getting those stickers actually. Um, some people think that if you don't get the sticker, it's not genuine, sorry. I'll this one is also a skeleton design, but it's also glow in the dark. And uh, it says Zippo Premium. That's why it's got this like little mirrored surround there. <clears throat> Here we've got BS sunglasses. I don't know what the uh, BS is supposed to stand for, but this is another nice design. I've had my own for a little while and I really do like these um, high polished designs where it's got a, a painted image or a printed paint image and it uses the normal finish under, underneath the, 
the paint to help the image out. So it doesn't really show up too well in this photo, but that's just the chrome finish underneath for the sunglasses. And I have one other in high polish brass. If you've seen my other videos, you'll know which one I'm talking about, but it's the spotlight behind the lady. Actually, I'll keep them there, the glow in the dark ones. Uh, this one here, Spectrum. Also really like this finish. It's like a chameleon sort of color. You can see the light changing in it. And uh, it will also have, yep, the red sticker. So if you're interested in getting stuff that does have those stickers, like if you feel like you're not gonna get something genuine without it, I would recommend buying from johnnyblade.com. This one here is a queen finish. It's kind of like a uh, black ice chrome with a nice little design on the front, the word queen. I guess that's supposed to look like the top of the, the queen's crown, I guess. So that's not a bad one. Uh, over here, this is one I've been looking forward to getting. Replica Black Crackle. Very nice. I actually picked up the World War II replica, the uh, collectible, for the 75th anniversary of the ending of World War II. And after getting that one, I was like, you know, I've really got to add the standard replica to my collection. I really like the, f the textured finish on these too, so they're kind of a must have for collectors. Like that's as old school as you're gonna get, I, other than like the 35s and stuff, but that's where these things really took off. Here I've got angel skull or angel and skull design. It's just a brushed chrome or a street chrome finish, I think. No, that's brushed chrome. It's just got the, I guess they call that a tattoo design on the website that I bought it from, but once again, we got the stickers. This here is a butane single torch insert. And um, I haven't opened this one up and looked at it yet, but it is also got a limited warranty of only two years. Which, you know, it's all right. Um, I will be doing reviews on these as well. And finally, antique silver plate armor. So I've actually been looking forward at buying a solid silver one, but they're pretty expensive, so I'm just going to hang out until I find a good deal on them. This thing's actually kind of heavy too. Once again, the sticker. It's got a nice finish. It looks worn on the edges and it looks aged in the, the centers of the faces, even over the welds and the hinge. I've got an upside down logo there. Even the stamping in the bottom looks like it's old, like it's aged. There's the armor logo. So yeah. That's all for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're looking forward to seeing any of the reviews coming out on these, um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. And uh, any comments or suggestions or anything the particular that you want to see, let me know. We'll get back to you. Might even do a video response. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.